Hello everyone hope you all are doing well in my today's session i'll be discussing about customer satisfaction the first question which arises is who is a customer an individual or business that purchases an other company's goods or services he or she is a customer why customers are important is the second most questions which must be coming in your mind customers are important because they drive revenues without them business cannot continue to exist all businesses compete with other companies to attract customers either by advertising their products or by lowering their prices to expand their customers now the question is what is customer satisfaction customer satisfaction is a measure of how happy your customers are with your product or service and for how long your business is making a difference between success and failure having no pressure customers are looking for effective and efficient customer services but research shows that there may be disconnection between what business think satisfies a customer and what actually does Higher customer satisfaction means customers are happy and business is booming. If you do build a great experience, customers tell each other about that. So, the word of mouth is very powerful. If you go and visit any restaurant and if you like the food of that restaurant, then definitely after coming back home, you will be telling your family your friends your acquaintances about the customer satisfaction and the product and services which was offered by that restaurant so we can say the word of mouth plays a very important role an organization main focus is to satisfy its customer this applies to industrial farms retail wholesale businesses government bodies companies non profit organization and every sub group within an organization let's have a discussion regarding four benefits of customer satisfaction customer satisfaction is no more than just a nice to have getting it right has a specific tangible benefits including the first one increase brand loyalty never take your customers for granted because customers are those who are the main judge of your product according to pwc 59% of U- us consumers who live who love a product or brand would ditch it after several poor experiences it's a very much concern that almost 1 in 5 would do so after a single bad experience they are not going to be loyal anymore secondly customer satisfaction drives businesses and products decisions if you prioritize customer success you will have an easier time sorting about your task and goals whether it's product development marketing campaigns customer service improvements or any other business before you chase market trends or introduce any new changes in your product you should make sure your action resonate with your customers it should be aligned with the customer needs so you have to do customer satisfaction surveys if your customers keep complaining about a certain flaw in your product it's better to fix it before you start expanding your offer to catch new customers chances are your old clients will be will get annoyed for instance if you are selling a car and you got a complaint regarding certain parts and you are getting complaint on regular basis try to first fix it and rectify those shortcomings to maintain your goodwill with the current customers and to cap tap more potential buyers thirdly it will help you to stand out of the crowd let's face it it is unlikely your product is one of a kind and even if it is right now you are bound to have few imitators soon the only one thing you can do is to differentiate yourself is to deliver exceptional customer services and satisfy your clients if you are formulating 
and maintaining your own brand since a decade so we can say your customers are also loyal to you fourthly satisfied customers attract new customers loyal customers not only contribute to high clv that's customer lifetime value they can also be the biggest promoters that draw new customers and recommendations and to recommend a company you must have to satisfied with the services so once you have maintained your brand identity you have to sustain it as well on a long run now the question arises how to improve customer satisfaction first collect customers feedback and always be available your customer needs a place to voice their opinions both positive and negative positive customer feedback will ensure that your product road map and customer support efforts are heading in the right direction happy clients may also share their ideas on improving your product and services which will help you to build a truly customer centric business an outlet for customers negative opinions let them voice their frustration before turning to online communities as well your customers should be always able to find a place where they can talk to you to achieve it combine the power of easily access accessible customer service with the power of surveys nowadays we are having online customer surveys as well there are different tabs for different apps as well so for improving the customer satisfaction scores you need to gather customer support data to monitor and benchmark you can always give your customers room to voice their opinions by including open ended questions in your surveys anything we would improve in our product to make it better is the example of open ended customer so that the customers are able to gauge the idea that what are the flaws in your product and how they are going to rectify it and how they are going to be improve in the upcoming days secondly staying positive and proactive and react in a real time you have to sh- make sure that your feedback doesn't disappear in a black hole especially when it's negative ignoring customers complaint might have some severe side effects you may create an army of dissatisfied clients who are likely to charm and that is not the kind of audience you want dissatisfied customers are much more likely to share their opinions than happy ones and a bunch of negative online reviews can seriously stain your reputation so the thing is that in today's scenario you have to be proactive rather than reactive keep things personal personalized become the norm business results confirm these claims according to google research 90% of leading marketers say personalization significantly contributes to business profitability it is hardly surprising that personalization works so well that it makes these customers feel so important at at home from the company point of view personalized targeting allows you to tailor content services and offer to the customers expectations a perfect example of personalization is the meditation app headspace during sign up it asks the users few simple questions about their preferences such as experience level main level for using the app or their preferred meditation time so this is something which is touching the hearts of the customer what they want from the company so finally nowadays customers centricity is an indispensable element of every successful business that is why we should focus on continuously improving customer satisfaction through high customer satisfactions with the help of keeping existing customers around attracting new ones increasing customer loyalty standing out from the crowd of competitions and making smart product decisions that is all from my side hopefully this customer satisfaction video will help you in your upcoming um, shoppings or any decisions about any product that is all from my side thank you bye